This draw preview is brought to you by our partners at BetUS. BetUS have over 25 years experience in the sports betting market and are not only America's favorite sports book, but they offer their services to people all around the world. And they want to offer you a 125% sign up bonus on your first deposit using the link down below. Also by signing up with BetUS using the link down below, you are supporting what we do on the channel. If you love the live shows, if you love these draw previews, click the link down below to show your support for the channel. Appreciate your support everybody and let's get back to the video. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another draw preview and we are previewing the women's side of the Australian Open. We've done the men's side already. Go check that out. But there are some equally awesome matches in the women's side. Let's go to the withdrawals from the tournament. So the players who have withdrawn from this event, we have Kiki Burtons. She's withdrawn. Also Suarez Navarro. Townsend is also withdrawn. Anisimova. Lynette. Madison Keys also withdrew. And Yastremska, who is on suspension by the ITF. She had to leave after quarantining for 14 days. She wasn't allowed to play the event. All right, let's start at the top of the draw. We have the number one seed, Ash Barty versus Kovinich in the first round. Winner of that's going to play either Tormo or Gavrilova in the second. Then you've got Zhang versus Krajikova. The winner of that's going to play either Trevison or the number 29 seed, Alexandrova, in the second round. Then you've got Kontovic, the number 21 seed, versus Sansnovic. Winner of that's going to play either Pliskova or Watson. Now, of course, that is the sister of Pliskova, not the top 10 player Pliskova. Then you've got Francesca Jones, the qualifier from the UK. Of course, you're going to hear a lot of her over the next couple of weeks. She plays Shelby Rogers in the first round. Winner of that's going to play either Danilo or Martic, the number 16 seed. So Ash Barty, got to be pretty happy with that part of the draw. No real threats to making it out of here and into the quarters. Go to the second part of the draw. We have the number 11 seed, Bencic versus Davis in the first round. Winner of that's going to play either Kuznetsova or Strikova in the second round. Then you've got Zhu versus Oswiji. The winner of that's going to play either Fernandez or the number 18 seed, Mertens, in the second round. Then you've got the number 25 seed, Machova versus Ostapenko. That's a fun first round. Winner of that's going to play either Barthel or Cochioretto in the second round. Then you've got Collins versus Bogdan. The winner of that's going to play either Polini or the number 6 seed, Pliskova. So straight away, you can see Pliskova versus Bencic is possibly a fourth round match. Up. And then the winner of that's probably going to take on Ash Barty in the quarter. So we could have a Pushkova versus Barty quarterfinals. Next part of the draw, we have Sophia Kennan, the number four seed versus Inglis in the first round. Winner of that's going to play either Sevastova or Kanepi. Then you've got Podoroska versus Mikhail. The winner of that's going to play either Wang or the number 28 seed Vekic. Then you've got the 22nd seed Brady versus Bolsova. Winner of that's going to play either Brengel or Rodionova in the second round. Then you've got Piquet versus Sharif. Battle of the qualifiers. Winner of that's going to play either Juvan or the number 13 seed, Conta. So, like I said, Sophia Kennan's got to be happy with her part of the draw. Kanepi is a dangerous player. She proved that this week. Vekic is no slouch, but I think Kennan has got to be pretty happy of getting out of this part of the draw. The final part of the top half of the draw, we have the number 12 seed, Azarenka. She versus Pagula in the first round. She'll play the winner of Aeva versus Stoza in the second round. So no matter what, if Azarenka wins, she's playing a wild card from Australia. Then you've got Habini versus Sharma. Winner of that's going to play a very interesting first round match. Mladenovic versus the number 20 seed, Sakari in the second round. So that's a very fun first round match. Then you've got Putin 7, the number 26 seed versus Stevens in the first round. Another popcorn first round match. Winner of that's going to play either Van Utvank or Borel in the second round. Another very fun first round match that we actually saw them compete this week. Goff versus Teichman is happening in the first round. Winner of that's going to play either Buskova or the number 5 seed Svetolina. So straight away you can see Goff versus Svetolina. Could be a second round match. A lot of fun, that matchup. Also, don't forget, Azarenka Sakari. That is a third round match that could happen. Very fun as well. And also Svetolina versus Sakari or Azarenka could be a fourth round. And the winner of this part of the draw will possibly take on Sofia Kennan. So we could get Azarenka versus Kennan in the quarterfinals. The top of the bottom half of the draw now and a name that we haven't seen for a long time. The number eight seed, Andrescu. She gets a lucky loser in her first match back after almost a year and a half. She'll play the Romanian Buzinescu in the first round. The winner of that match will play the winner of Shway versus Peronkova. So if Andrescu does get through her first match, she might have to play Peronkova in the second. Then you've got Flipkins versus Venus Williams. Winner of that's going to play either Arani or the number 30 seed Wang. Then you've got the number 19 seed Vondrasova versus Peterson. The winner of that's going to play either Marino or Burrell in the second round. Then you've got Teague versus Castella. The winner of that's going to play Minin or the number 9 seed Kvitova. So straight away you can see Kvitova, Andrescu on 
on a collision course for the fourth round. Grand Slam champions versing each other. That is a lot of fun. But like I said, Andrescu does not have an easy draw. She has to get through Peronkova, who's proven to be a difficult customer. Also, Venus Williams is floating around. Could she play Venus in the third round? and then have to play Kvitova. Next part of the draw, we have Muguruza, the number 14 seed, and the finalist of last year, she's got a lucky loser, Gasparin, in the first round. Winner of that's going to play either Samsonova or Bedosa in the second. Then you've got Diaz versus Zedensek. The winner of that's going to play either Pera or the number 23 seed, Kerber, in the second round. Then you've got the number 27 seed, Jabor versus Pekovic, which is a fun first round. Winner of that's going to play either Hibby or Schmidlova in the second. Then you've got Hercog versus Garcia. Winner of that's going to play either Pavlichenkova or the number three seed, Naomi Osaka. So again, you can see straight away, Muguruza Osaka, fourth round, potential meeting. Don't count out Jabor. Don't count out Kerber. We know that they can play some good tennis as well. And Pavlichenkova for Osaka is not an easy first round and potentially Garcia in the second. The winner of this part of the draw plays the winner of the top part, which is either Kvitova, Andrescu, if you go by the seedings, that could be a quarterfinal. So we could get Andrescu versus Osaka in the quarterfinals, which I think would be insane. All right, the next part of the draw, the number seven seed, Sabalenka versus Kuzmova in the first round. Winner of that's going to play either Bolter or Kazakina in the second round. Then you've got Kone versus Sevenyek in the first round. Winner of that's going to play either Lee or the number 31 seed Zhang in the second round. Then you've got the 24th seed Risk versus Potapova. Winner of that's going to play either Babosh or Bonaventure in the second round. Then you've got Stojanovic versus Bagu. Winner of that's going to play either Sigmund or the number 10 seed Serena Williams. So straight away again, you can see that Serena versus Sabalenka could be a fourth round. And the last part of the draw, which is probably the toughest part of the draw, we have the number 15 seed Sviontek versus Rus in the first round. Winner of that's going to play either Svidova or Georgie in the second. Then you've got Ferro versus Siniakova. Winner of that's going to play either Zvonareva or the number 17 Rybakina. So I think that is a first round blockbuster. Zvonareva, former finalist of slams back in the day versus the next generation of player. Then you've got the 32nd seed Kudamatova versus Kostjak. Winner of that's going to play either Cheva or Blinkova in the second round. Then you've got Doi versus Tomljanovic. And the winner of that's going to play either Cabrera or the number two seed, Simona Halep, who I think has the toughest draw out of anybody. She's sort of like Novak Djokovic of the women's side of the draw because it is going to be tough. She has to get through not only her part of the draw, which is full of very scary unseeded players. She might have to play against her French Open nemesis, Sviontek in the fourth round. And not to mention, if she does get through this part of the draw and make the quarterfinals, she will have to take on either Sabalenka or Serena Williams. And then if she gets through that, she's going to have to play a semi-final against Andrescu or Osaka. And that's just to make the final. So I think Halep has the hardest draw. So there it is, the 2021 Australian Open draw for the women. And like I said, very exciting bottom half of the draw. Top half of the draw is actually pretty bare. I think there's only a couple of players that will make the semis statistically. I think Barty, Azarenka, Cannon, they're the most likely. But then down the bottom, I mean, flip a coin. There are so many Grand Slam champions down the bottom half of the draw. So predictions, I picked Naomi Osaka at the end of last year, and I'm going to stick with her for this year. So I think Naomi Osaka is going to win. But again, like I said, she's in the hardest part of the draw. So potentially Osaka has to go through Muguruza in the fourth round, Andrescu in the quarterfinals, and then either Halep or Serena Williams in the semis, and maybe Barty in the finals. So if she does win it, it'll be a very, very impressive performance. But I'm going to stick with Osaka because I picked her at the end of last year. So again, let me know down in the comments below, who do you see winning this one? A lot of killers in this one. WTA throws up random champions. This time last year, Sophia Kennan was the champ. Who to pick that? So Australian Open draw is done for 2021, and we are watching the matches on Monday. See you there.